things, I think the first word that comes to mind is an adventure. Uh, it was an adventure to go and see his company and him in Fondation Maite in the south of France when I was about 19. Uh, and I was an immensely innocent dancer. And we, Richard Olson and I went every night for about five nights. We went to everything. And every single performance we saw was a wonder. It was a, an experience I had never felt before. And I'd gone to art school. So to some extent, his um, marriage of thinking between fine art and dance was something that meant something to me, which I had not felt before. Well, I'm thinking that it, um sort of significant historical figure in dance, obviously, but also with connections through music and art. Um, but from a dancer's perspective, um, what I'm really seeing is this kind of very rigorous technique language um, where there's no hiding place. I think for me, the, the, the Merce Cunningham question occurred when I was at school and a few dancers in, the, in my class started to become interested in Merce and I think actually went to America, worked with him. I always found it fascinating. It was just the polar opposite to what I was doing at the time, you know, a young dancer at the Royal Ballet. Um, but it always felt very cool and very modern. And I, I, didn't, I couldn't really um, mentally break into it. Uh, I was sort of obsessed with ballet at the time. But, but as I got older, uh, more and more interest in what Merce was doing. I remember thinking it was the first time I'd seen a group of dancers performing where they weren't showing us what they'd already perfected. They weren't saying, this is what we're able to do and now we're letting you see it. They were very much saying, we're engaged in these challenges and it might go really well and it might go surprisingly and we're actively still in pursuit of something that we know is not quite attainable. And that fascinated me. It's, uh, it's a choreographer I've been following for a very long time since I started dancing. I am, um, myself, I'm very interested in lines, I'm very inter interested in designing the space, in time, um, I'm very interested in uh, the structure of the space and the structure of the body and how those two things relate to each other. And I really see so many comparisons um, in Mercer's work between those things. So it's something that's very beautiful to me. I joined Michael Clark Company and the first class I had was Cunningham and I hadn't experienced the technique at all during my training and it slowly became more of a essential tool to not only Michael's work but just understanding your body and knowing how to move and isolate different things for different reasons so just in general dance I think it's he's massively important he changed a lot an opportunity to take class with the company in their home in New York, probably 2011 or 10 or 12. Um, and I would just love, would have loved to have had an opportunity to audition if I'd been 10 years older, if, it was, if, I, was not, if I was this age, 10 years ago, sort of thing. Um, it, I think it's fed, it's fed, his technique has fed dance in a way that people don't really realise it. Merce Cunningham is a huge name in the ballet world. Uh, it's uh, someone that I think have been uh, defying gravity almost, I would say. Uh, and also probably for some dancers, like not working with music specifically or working alongside the music. Well, I, you know, my background is, I started in classical ballet, but I've also, I've also done Horton technique, I've done Lamone, I've done Martha Graham, a bit of Taylor. So for me, this kind of completes uh, my, my background. It, he's a, import, a super important figure in American modern dance. And so it's, it's really interesting for me to come, come to this project at this point in my career. I've been in Paris for a long time. He's obviously really, incredibly revered in France. And so this is, this is special. I think this is quite special. And it's nice for me also to come back to kind of my roots in a way, which is American, you know, the traditional kind of modern techniques. Et j'ai entendu parler de lui au tout début de ma carrière. Donc c'était au début des années 80, 83. 
84, par là, oui. Euh, ce que ça représente pour moi, bah, c'est tout un pan, enfin, c'est vraiment euh, un pan de la danse contemporaine en France. Enfin, en, en France, ça a été une, euh, une grande influence. Euh, c'est un, un maître, on peut dire. Euh, même si moi, je n'ai jamais dansé de cette façon-là. Donc ça, pour moi, le bonhomme, euh, c'est ça, c'est un danseur, c'est un danseur euh, sur toute, euh, toute sa vie. Les danseurs, en tout cas, peuvent faire ce travail-là de transmission, de réappropriation des danses, des différentes pièces. Ça, je trouve ça euh, formidable. In thinking about what Merce means to my life, it's everything. He's everything. He gave me a reason to continue to work. He gave me a, a, a feeling of usefulness that I've been able to carry on well past um, my time in the company. Um, he gave me something to offer to the world. And um, I spent my entire adult life with him, you know, from 18 to 36, more time than I even spent with my own parents. And, um, you know, the warmth and the generosity and the lack of judgment um, that I now try to impart in my own teaching Uh, it has meant the world to me.